This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this looks like some sci-fi violent adventure, doesn't it? This is actually a smackdown between two cordless vacuums. You know, we do technology reviews, and we do rob robotic vacuum reviews, but we really haven't done the cordless or stick vacuums. But thanks to Dyson and their V-series, like the V8 currently and the V10, they've become so cool that even tech channels review them, so why not? But the thing is with Dyson's, they're pretty darn expensive, and this is the Dyson V8. Well, this one here is the Tyneco A10 Hero, and that's made by Echovacs. This is a sub-brand of Echovacs. They're the ones who make the D-Bot ro robotic vacuum cleaners that we have reviewed. What's cool about this one is on Amazon, it's like $199, whereas typically your Dyson V8 is more like $399. Yeah, yeah. Black Friday, you might find this one for a bit less. This will probably go on sale too, so that's considerably less money. And let's face it, we all clean house. Let's clean now. So we've seen Dyson clones before for the, the V family. And obviously this is one. It looks a whole lot like it in terms of design. No surprises there. This one's actually just a little bit lighter. It's 2.68 pounds, which is 1.3 kilograms. They're not super far apart in weight, though. Both of these are pretty light and very maneuverable. For those of you who are looking for something light enough that you could go and clean the drapes with and all that sort of thing, they both fit in that category. So it's different and the same about the Dyson. Let's cover that right now. Well, obviously, you've got snap-on tools that connect on the front. You know, compared to Hoover and Shark and some of those that are either heavier or using the attachments is kind of not so easy. This is just every bit as easy. You got a little snap it on, you clip it off like that. Easy peasy kind of design going on there. Obviously, you have the clear bin right here. It looks a little bit smaller in capacity. Not that either of these holds a whole lot. I mean, this is for you clean a couple of rooms, you empty it out kind of design. The bin release is a little bit different in emptying it. We'll show you that in a minute. So, one thing that I really like about this, if you've owned a Dyson V8 or a V6 or you've you know what I mean. When you press the trigger right on the Dyson, because they're trying to make sure you don't use power by just leaving it on, it turns on, but it doesn't stay on. So your finger can get a little bit tired, even though it's a soft touch trigger. So this one actually has a little trigger lock. So it's a simple thing. And I think we're all smart enough to know that we shouldn't just leave the vacuum cleaner running or we're not using because it, it is battery powered and power isn't an infinite thing. So thank you very much for giving that to us. Also, the battery on this is actually removable. So if you get the A10 Master instead of the Hero model, they're the same vacuums. What you get is a second battery in the box and you also get another floor attachment that I'll talk about. So with this guy, if the battery eventually, they're both lithium ion, but the battery on this one gets old and tired, it's not really an easy thing to deal with because it's not a removable battery. So with this one, you could have two batteries, swap them in and out to extend your cleaning times, which you might need because cordless vacuums are not the super longest running things. They're not for cleaning your McMansion so much as cleaning a room or two in your McMansion or your small apartment or whatever. So Dyson claims 40 minutes of runtime, seven minutes if it's running on max mode. This one is 27 minutes of regular runtime or seven minutes of max cleaning time. So it is shorter. Keep that in mind. So how about emptying the bin? Dyson with the V8 has gotten pretty clever about that, but this is also well done. So we just have a little push button right here. Boom, the dirt falls out, and it really does fall out. And if you want to clean that centerpiece, it actually unscrews. It locks in place. You just unscrew it. You take it out. Uh, the only thing that I have noticed is that hair will wrap around this. It's not a big deal. You can pull it off. You do have to touch it to do it, but hair does wrap around it. But that is pretty darn easy to clean. And, you know, these parts are washable too, which is nice. So with the Dyson V8, I'm actually standing up because this takes a little bit more effort here. They have a design where you pull it up like this all the way, drops the dirt out, pretty much just the same as before. And then this barrel over here is exposed. So if you need to, you can wipe it off. I'll tell you the truth. I have never once had to wipe this off though. So it's not much of a problem, but that's their way of making this part accessible to clean. And you do that and you do that to put it back together again. And it flings a little bit of dust everywhere when you do that, alas. When you want to charge it, you plug it directly in barrel connector into the side of the vacuum cleaner. It does not charge via this included tool caddy. This is just a caddy. So what you can do is you just stick this in here like that. So it's for storing it. This does not hang on the wall on like a Dyson. So if you're really fond of hanging it on the wall, it doesn't do that. Attachment selection is, well, pretty much the same as Dyson. So we have this is kind of like your, you know, 
vacuum your curtains or vacuum your upholstery kind of brush. The usual crevice tool, they all snap on and off just as easily as the one I showed you. And we have the powered brush, which is pretty much this version of the Dyson one right here. And so this, they work pretty similarly, honestly, in terms of design. They both have the movable shade so you can stay close on things. They both snap on. Dyson, of course, is all about making it really easy to clean. So they always have this kind of quick release thing here so you can pull this out and clean it if you want. We don't have that here, but, you know, scissors work pulling it with your fingers, you got to give somewhere, right, if it's going to cost you about half as much money. Now, in terms of the power generated, even though that these motors are rated very closely, in standard mode, the Dyson seems more powerful. I don't know if it's actually the motor is generating more power or if the cyclonic design is more effective. And you can hear the difference in tone when you're using them, and you can see how fast the brushes are spinning and how effective they are. In max mode, they are pretty much the same. It's identical. Here comes the noisy part. We're going to do a little sound test so you can hear what they, they sound like. The Tyneco is quieter. It also, like I said, in standard mode seems to have less suction, so that kind of follows, doesn't it? So here we are in standard mode first with the Tyneco. And now with the Dyson. And now max mode for both of these. Tyneco. That'll startle your cat. And now with the Dyson. That will suck up your cat. But wait, there's more, right? Sounds like an infomercial. So here is the clone of the, the stick portion and the floor tool that, that you would get with something like a Dyson V8. This is aluminum. They call this space blue, in case you were wondering. It's cute. Kind of reminds me of a friendly cartoon robot. Anyway, we've got the little wheelie thing here. We have the swivelly thing, and we'll show you some vacuuming the floor action. This is every bit as maneuverable as the Dyson, which is pretty much an accomplishment because they are famous for making very maneuverable products. So right here, yes, you can also disconnect it over here if you happen to suck up a sock and need to retrieve it. This head obviously looks a little bit different. And the best part of this, my favorite part is right here. These are five little white LEDs. And you would think, okay, big deal. I'll tell you what, these have just changed my world and embarrassed the heck out of me. We have your average mid-brown wooden floors, right? And I thought my house was pretty darn clean. Gee, I mean, I have RoboVacs, I review vacuums. Well, once I saw with these five little LEDs, which are just at the right height, I saw all sorts of dust and cat hair. And oh my God, it was, I started using this thing right away. I, I know this sounds like an infomercial. It's not, but these, I, I was actually considering getting a little LED flashlight and duct taping it to the, the floor tool of my Dyson because, yeah. So with this guy here, otherwise, this is the standard tool that's included. It has a spinning, very soft brush. They build this as kind of more of your carpet tool, but also it can do any surface. This works fine on wood floors and on tile, and it is very soft. And it has the effect of basically when it's spinning, of dusting your floor and picking up the dust. So I like that pretty well. There is another attachment that they sell. It comes with the A10 Master Standard, but not with the Hero. And that one is specifically for wood floors. I guess if you're picking up bigger debris, it doesn't spin around and, you know, a little bit sort of like the fluffy attachment on a Dyson. I, at 79 bucks, though, I would say don't buy that separately. Just get the A10 Master if you want that and get the second battery. But this one really, it does the job just fine. Uh, in terms of how aggressive this is with carpeting, now, all of these cordless stick vacuums, except for the even more expensive Dyson V10 that has even more power, are not like the super best things for carpeting. They're fine for your quick cleanups, but if you want to do a deep cleaning, a bigger vacuum that plugs into the wall is still my first choice. And this one is not quite as aggressive at beating pile as Dyson's is, but it's still, it's pretty darn good. And like for your everyday quick cleanups, which is what I think most people get this for, or for low pile area rugs, it's fine. If you use this on max mode with very thin and light area carpets, it will pull your carpet up. So don't use it on max mode. For a significantly lower price competitor, it's also good to see that it has a removable HEPA filter right in the butt, pretty much where the Dyson has one. Also, the airflow design is pretty good. With the V8, it blows out the side, so does with this one, but somehow it manages to blow and still blow in my face. This one, it, the airflow is a little bit better. It's not quite so out and back at you. So that's the Tyneco A10 Hero. And again, if you want the one that comes with a couple of extra things, there's the A10 Master. Well, it really does give the Dyson a run for its money. And given the fact that it's just about half of the price, you know, I would get one of these. 
I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and backs up if you like this vid.